Greetings folks and welcome back to another edition of Plant Identification with Mr. Groth. Uh, today we're going to look at a tree uh, that is found here in the Pacific Northwest. It is a tree that uh, does prefer the understories of our more mature forests. Uh, it is a tree that doesn't necessarily have a lot of commercial value in terms of lumber or dimensional lumber. However, it is used uh, a lot for, um, they use it for fence posts. It is very um, disease and rot resistant as a fence post. And then it is also used for uh, furniture and then also for wood turning for um, different bowls and, and banisters and things like that. Uh, and that tree is the Pacific Yew. The Pacific Yew does have needles. And so if we're looking at our dichotomous key, you would want to use the key that has uh, the option for needles. And at first glance, it really does look like um, one of the trees that we have looked at so far, uh, which is the, um, excuse me, the coastal redwood. However, there is one characteristic that's going to give it away and tell us that it is not that, obviously, if you just have a little sample. Um, but when we're looking at our needles here, Okay, we can tell that this tree is two ranked, meaning the needles do come off uh, in two ranks, one from one side and one from the other. So remember, kind of like an airplane. And so that is one uh, key characteristic. The needle angle is not as much of a 45 degree angle as the coastal redwood is. Uh, that does come off just slightly less, maybe at about 33. But the one thing that really is going to tell us that this is a Pacific U is that when you look on the back, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera there, but the color of the back of the needle is kind of a, a lime green color. If you were to look at the back of the needles on the coastal redwood, we would see those rows of white stomatal bloom. But when we look on the back of the Pacific U, we have that that lime green color. Now if you're out in the woods and out in the forest, the uh, Pacific Yew would be very easy to identify. It's kind of, a, I want to describe it as scraggly. Uh, it's not necessarily a really straight tree. It puts off a lot of different um, branches in a lot of different directions, uh, primarily because it's trying to reach for sunlight. Even though it doesn't necessarily prefer a lot of sunlight, it is still reaching for that sunlight. So a very scraggly looking tree. Um, does not get very tall around here. I've maybe seen some that are 50 feet tall at the most, but most of them are pretty short. Um, so again, this is the Pacific U. It has needles. It is two ranked. And then again, when we look at the back, we're gonna notice that we're gonna have that lime green color. And that makes this the Pacific U.